so hello everyone our topic is breast cancer classification and we are working on the uh, faculty is mr somat roy choudhury and this is being presented by devadita biswas devadoti datta arpita chakraborty and myself ashwita kumar next slide okay so uh, our topic is breast cancer but before that i would like to uh, uh, like to bring your view on uh, cancer we know that cancer is starts when the growth of cell becomes out of control and forms lumps or tumor uh, uh cancer is a kind of is a type of device, a disease where the cell grows out of control it divides and invade other tissues in a person uh, which has cancer this normal process of cell divisions goes out of control and cell changes their nature because mutations have occurred in their genes so the all uh, all the daughter cells of cancer cells are also cancerous when cells divide itself into daughter cells so they are also cancerous so this is an overview for cancer there are various type of cancer one of the major cancer is breast cancer and this is what our topic will be dealing with uh, we will be dealing with this topic um, so breast cancer breast cancer is a type of cancer that affects the breast and this is mostly this is seen both in men and women but it's not slightly to be seen in women and uh, breast cancer cells usually form a tumor that can be seen through x-ray ultrasound images and histopathology images and we will be mainly really dealing with the histopathology images next slide please okay so these are the two types of lungs uh, benign and malignant and you can see this picture over here so this benign tumor is uh, a kind of cancer where cells are not cancerous and they don't spread spread as much as as the malignant tumor where the cells are cancerous and can spread to other tissues and organs as well so these are the two uh, lumps or tumors we find in cancer next slide please so this uh, benign breast cancers are just abnormal growth of cells which is not life threatening usually so but in some cases then uh, breast cancers can be transformed to malignant breast cancers so these are the two uh, two types of breast cancers and malignant uh, breast cancer is very cancerous um, so here are the types of the breast cancers so uh, mainly there are two types of breast cancer one is the invasive breast cancer which is also known as malignant cancer and the other one is non invasive breast cancer which is known as the non cancerous breast cancer so first of all like if i speak about the invasive breast cancer so invasive means that the cancer cells in the tumor of the breast have the ability to spread even beyond the breast and all over the body so uh, from invasive breast cancer we can understand that it is uh, go to the previous slide please uh, we can understand that it, it is really very harmful so under uh, invasive breast cancer there are various stages which include stage 0 1 2 3 4 so basically uh, in the very uh, like stage 0 it is known as the pre cancer and uh, uh, there are various stages of breast cancer that that is invasive ductal carcinoma invasive lobular carcinoma pagen's disease inflammatory breast cancer pylodes tumor locally advanced breast cancer and metastatic breast cancer so the last four breast cancers i think uh, they are uh, the stage 4 breast cancers which are really very uh, like one of the last stages and under non invasive breast cancer it includes ductal and lobular so uh, in this project we mainly deal with the idc that is invasive ductal carcinoma so what is idc idc is the most common type of breast cancer invasive means spreading ductal means the carrier or pipe uh, which carries milk from the lobule to nipple carcinoma refers to the type of cancer and lobule is the gland where the milk is produced and in this picture you can see a detailed diagram of all these things uh, so basically in our project we have gathered uh, various information uh, like information i mean to say various images about idc and from there we have depicted that under which condition actually breast cancer can occur so uh, from this data set part uh, i'll hand it on to debo jyoti Okay, so let me continue with the slides. So in this slide, uh, 
I just demonstrated like what our data set looked like. So in our data set, there are uh, uh, these data set actually uh, we got from Vincent William J. Yes, Reserve University. And the same data set is also available in National Center for Biotechnology Information. So what this data set, uh, data set is, uh, contains is, uh, it contains around uh, 279 uh, uh, patients uh, with around uh, 2,77,524 batches of 50 cross 50 pixel images. Among them, 1,98,738 are IDC negative and 78,786 are IDC positive. So basically, here we are dealing with binary classification, like if it is IDC positive or negative. And uh, this might be enough as uh, the 80% uh, breast cancer uh, consists of IDC already that we have uh, present. So, so what is the problem with uh, the IDC histopathology images? Is the negative predictive value of histopathology images is nearly 92.8%. And accurate predictive interpre interpretation of histopathology images is very time consuming, uh, and misdiagnosis can be fatal in uh, case of this time. So, uh, our, uh, we applied uh, CNN. So, why CNN? Basically, CNN automatically detects hidden and important features from uh, images. It directly reads from each uh, pixel value and gathers information uh, about the images uh, feature. And uh, it is uh, very easy to use as many open source libra libraries are uh, currently available. So, our approach is uh, here I demonstrated the approach. So, uh, we inputted uh, the IDC image uh, data set and we converted it from RGB to grayscale uh, for uh, deep learning purpose and resizing them uh, if they are not to exactly 50 plus 50 pixels. And then we define our model uh, as CNN, which we created very basic uh, CNN model. And we uh, trained the model, tested the model, and validated also. And uh, we predicted the uh, IDC classification model. Okay, so here is the summary. Here uh, it is shown that we have basically 10 dense layers and uh, nothing more, nothing else. And among them, uh, there is 31 lakh. Uh, Parameters that is ultimately it ultimately goes to uh, two parameters that is the output parameter that is uh, true or false that is if IDC positive or negative uh, in the last and here in the uh, past it is one to five zero that is uh, fifty plus fifty images I al uh, already told so fifty plus fifty means two um, two thousand five hundred and the half is uh, twelve uh, one thousand two hundred and fifty so this is our input there and this is our output there. Okay, so uh, let me talk about the result. Uh, in the training accuracy, we got around 84.85% uh, accuracy, and if, uh, in testing, we got around 84.6% accuracy. So, this is very good achievement. But uh, here also, I see that uh, the training loss is also high for, the, uh, for training as well as testing uh, cases. So, uh, we need to um, modify something on. Uh, have to modify uh, the model uh, more accurately in the future, but the overall accuracy is uh, pretty much good. Uh, so the, uh, here are the text stack. Uh, like uh, we use Google uh, Colab, and uh, we face some problem issues like uh, in Google Colab that we, uh, due to inactivity, it uh, already automatically shut down. So we use uh, uh, the Kaggle notebook, which is uh, more powerful in terms of uh, if, if we talk about. Notebook, Python notebook, and we use language Python 3.8. And for, for deep learning purposes, we use uh, TensorFlow 2, Keras API, and Pandas for our image process. So, uh, uh, for the future uh, scope, we'll be, uh, as, we, uh, as I already uh, told, that we have implemented very basic CNN architecture. We do not follow any uh, special architecture that's already available, like AlexNet, GoogleNet, or any RNN. Uh, type of uh, deep learning methods. So we we'll try all of them and uh, try to find uh, uh, the most accurate uh, uh, model for getting the best result.
the accuracy for that right? and we can create an whiteboard app based user interface where user can get prediction of their own uh, breast cancer id image so that's it thank you okay so here is our breast cancer deep learning model so i just uh, we just imported uh, all the libraries here and here uh, we are storing the paths of each images and uh, we got around uh, 279 total folders and uh, total number of images is around 2,77,524 so after that we just uh, classified as, they, as it was already labeled as classical class 1 and we just uh, stored them in class 0, uh, zero list and class 1 list according to the level and uh, after the labeling was done uh, so the number of uh, class 0 images was more like 98,738 and the class 1 images were uh, 78,786 so basically class 0 means uh, it is no, uh, non-invasive and uh, class 1 means it is invasive uh, that is IDC positive images so then we just uh, random sampled them as uh, we do not want to make it biased uh, as the number of inputs so we just use random sample here and after that uh, we uh, converted all the images from uh, RGB to play scale here and uh, all the uh, if, if it is uh, not in 50 plus 50 so we just also resize them and after that um, we took all the images into arrays class 0 array and class 1 array according to the uh, class of image and we again shuffled them shuffled them again and uh, before that uh, we just uh, concatenated the uh, class 0 array and class 1 array for training purpose and after that we uh, divided uh, uh, the features and labels from uh, each images in combined data in x and y so uh, Again, we reset that uh, our, uh, all the images to uh, two dimensional to one dimensional. So here is the uh, total training set, and uh, uh, the, the one dimensional size is uh, 200, 2500 because of 50 cross 50. And then we imported uh, cycle learn train test split and um, uh, we imported Keras to categorical uh, to categorize the levels and we passed them and uh, we formed our uh, x train model x test model y train model and y test model and uh, here are the uh, shapes for of them okay so here we defined our model uh, using keras api uh, so it started with 1 to 5 0 6 to 5 and up to it goes it goes to output uh, that is only 2 and all uh, all the new, uh, new rooms are uh, all the layers are a dense format like it all the connect all the new rooms are connected to the final uh, new room. so basically we did not follow any uh, traditional already developed uh, models we uh, created with this one and we check that uh, this is uh, also giving a better output we also used uh, atom optimizer here and loss uh, we, t we took as binary cross entropy as uh, it uh, as it is a zero one uh, classification so this works very very good in here so we here we use uh, model dot fit uh, to train our model and we took epox equals to 10 to uh, overcome the overfitting issue and uh, in each epoch you can see the uh, accuracy increases for that uh, at the last we got 84.85 around 84.85 percent but the loss also was 42.54 uh, that is uh, the loss is uh, also high so we have to um, check the parameters again and try with different uh, models and uh, again why not we tested our uh, model with the test data set uh, we got around across 84.6 and loss is here also 42.97 which is nearly the same as the training loss and training accuracy so that's it 
excellent presentation